Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Welcome back to the Black Mirror series recap. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a drama, science fiction series from Black Mirror Seasons 4, called Hang the DJ. This episode has an unpredictable plot twist with bonus explanations from us. Watch it till the end to find out. The movie starts with Frank, who is talking to an artificial intelligence system installed on a small circular tablet called Coach. The coach commands him to go towards the hub, a huge and mall-like building. He then enters the restaurant and meets Amy, who is also following the coach's instruction. The pair discover that it is their first time meeting someone through the system, which automatically chooses romantic relationships for its users with fixed periods of time. When they tap their tablets at the same time, they find out that their encounter will only last for 12 hours. After dinner, Amy and Frank are taken to a numbered house, passing an encircling huge wall on the way. The couple seem confused and lost as Frank asks the coach whether they could have sex or not, while Amy is also seeking for advice from the tablet. They end up just having simple conversations and sleeping next to each other. The next morning, Amy and Frank part ways after their relationship duration counts down to zero. In their separate conversation with the system, it is revealed that the system simulates users into numerous relationships and collects data on them in order to match the users with their ultimate compatible other on the user's pairing day. It also claims that it has a 99.8% success rate to find a perfect match for the users. Amy and Frank then get assigned to their new partners. Amy is assigned a 9 months relationship with Lenny, an attractive old hand at the system, while Frank is assigned a 1 year relationship with an emotionless and humorless girl named Nicola. Since it is Lenny's fifth time, he suggests that it is the best to have sex straight away up front and Amy agrees to it. On the other hand, Frank is having difficulty to understand his new partner as she demands a lot while they are having sex. Frank looks depressed. The next day while playing tennis alone, Frank discovers that he is unable to walk away from the current partner and has to continue the relationship until the duration ends. Unexpectedly, Frank meets Amy while attending other people's pairing day. They are having a good time together and Amy also introduces Lenny to Frank. Before they go, it seems like Amy and Frank are still having feelings for each other. As time goes by, we can see that their relationship is not as romantic as their first encounter anymore. When Amy's relationship with Lenny ends, Amy is assigned to a string of short relationships that becomes increasingly meaningless for her. When Frank's relationship with Nicola finally expires, Amy and Frank are once again matched and decide not to check the relationship duration. As their relationship continues, Frank becomes worried and distracted by the fact that their relationship will reach an end. One night, he breaks his promise to Amy and decides to check their relationship duration one-sidedly. It initially says 5 years, but then keeps recalibrating to the shorter duration until it settles on only 20 hours. The coach informs Frank that one-sided observation has destabilized the expired date. The next day, Amy confronts Frank about his weird behavior and he admits that he broke the promise and checked the expired date, telling Amy that they only have an hour left. They argue, with Frank suggesting that they have to rebel and escape from the system by climbing the huge wall, but Amy is already too angry and leaves Frank alone. Frank is devastated and begs the coach to undo what he has done. The coach also states that failure to comply with the system may result in banishment. After another string of indistinguishable short relationships, the coach finally informs Amy that her ultimate match has been found and her pairing day will be tomorrow. The coach also tells her that the ultimate match is someone she has never met before and gives Amy the last opportunity to say farewell to one person of her choosing. Amy immediately chooses Frank then throws her tablet to the pool. Amy meets Frank at the restaurant where they meet for the first time and discover that the farewell duration is just less than 90 seconds. The pair state that they want each other and want to go against the system. Amy tells Frank that they must be undergoing a test and rebelling against the system is the way to pass it. They agree to rebel by climbing the huge encircling wall. As they start to leave the restaurant, a guard tries to stop them with a taser. But Amy defies the guard and suddenly everyone freezes. The two make it to the wall. While they are climbing, the world around them begins to disintegrate, and they too as well. The pair end up in a black room with a number 998 above their heads, surrounded by dozens of dissolving identical Frank and Amy doppelgangers. They look out and fade out of existence, as a digital counter announces that 998 rebellions have occurred out of 1000 simulations. At the end of the episode, the scene goes to the real world, where the real-life version of Amy and Frank lock eyes with each other and smile as the lyrics hang the DJ from the song Panic plays in the background and Amy begins to approach Frank. Hang the DJ is basically the Black Mirror version of Tinder, as it takes place in a virtual reality in which couples are paired by the system, 
and are told how long their relationship will last. Amy and Frank, who are paired up in the beginning of the episode, can't stop thinking about each other after they part ways. Even though the system tells them their time is up, they rebel and run away hoping to see a system-free world behind the huge wall. Instead, it is revealed that the entire episode was taking place inside an dating app, which runs multiple simulations to see how compatible Frank and Amy are in the real world. We see that the app conducts 1000 simulations, but only two times the pair did not rebel, thus making them a 99.8% match on this dating system. Brooker, the writer of the episode, states that the system was deliberately designed with amounts of unfavorable condition. If they do rebel, it means that they are destined to be together. And if they don't rebel, the system has served its purpose and your reality ends. And now, Frank and Amy are about to take the first step on their relationship journey together. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.